As you all know, this is your last test of the semester, and for many of you, the last test of your high school career. So, I want some rich, bold, vibrant, and insightful storytelling from you people. All right, so we got two hours to do this. Today, I'd like you to uh, put together your autobiography for me. 
I know you're only 17, but you know, you've got some exciting and uh, wonderful tales to tell, I'm sure. So uh, let's commit those to paper and uh, do it in no less than 1,500 words, all right? 1,500 words, people, no less. My name is Matthew Benjamin Letterman, but my friends call me Mo. I was born on October 9th, 1984, at 10.41 p.m. at South Nassau Hospital on Long Island, New York. I was a little late, about a week or so. Mom said, I guess he just wasn't ready to come into the world yet. Is he okay? He was born with a hernia. Dr. Shapiro says he also has some other physical abnormalities. Like, what do you mean? He says he has something called club feet. It can be fixed. They had to take him in to operate immediately on the hernia. They said it was the size of a baseball. Where's my mother? She's downstairs. Everyone's downstairs. Some doctors want to talk to us. Dr. Murray is here. Hello, Pam. How are you doing? Fine. I'm Dr. Murray. I'm Chief Pediatric Surgeon from the Center of Joint Diseases. I saw Matthew. He's very cute. However, we're going to want to fix him up a bit. Matthew's condition is um, somewhat uncommon, but treatable. He'll be able to walk. Yes, he will be able to walk. However, I, I'm going to want to wait till about August to do the corrective surgery. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you some exercises that you can do with Matthew to help strengthen his feet. At this stage, the bones and the muscles are very malleable. Matthew's feet are probably the second worst case I've ever seen, but I am thoroughly confident that they will be entirely corrected. We're going to take very good care of Matthew, okay? Good. Now, you should get some rest. Jim, can I talk to you outside? Jim, give me my rosary beads. In my pocketbook over there? In the inside pocket on the left? Well, I guess that's when my mom really found God. Me? I came into the world with a bit of a struggle. A struggle just hard enough to give myself a hernia. What are you gonna do? Gotta hand it to my parents, though. They definitely handled the whole thing pretty cool. They said soak them 25 minutes, right? Just can't the chest be in the water forever. He's going to miss 60 minutes already. Oh, now just try again. Turn him kind of sideways. I don't want to hurt him. Oh, forget, these scissors are crap. Uh, they're supposed to work. Uh, 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 just uh, dunk him back down in the water. I'll try Get him wet. Tear him with your hands. Uh, Get him. Oh, fuck. Jim, just let me try. Well, do it. Here, you hold him. I got him. Hold him. I see. Your him. fingers are too big. I understand. Then I have him. Would you please? Okay. It's okay. You calm down. It's okay. They're coming off. You're a lot. Ben, Ben, get out. Go watch TV. Go. Get out. Go. Go. Okay, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming off. Yeah, yes. this used to be my favorite. A... That was painful. But it had to be done, right? Twice a day. Thanks, Ma. I can it's... walk today. <gasps> look, 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 look. Ooh, and the shoe fits. <laughs> yes, 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 my boy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 
I love Christmas. My parents always made it really special for Ben and I. We were definitely a little spoiled, but hey, you know, we were kids. What's the difference? Get the camera. Ben, would you stop it, please? Ben! Ben! Would you give him back the guitar? Ben, would you give him the guitar, please? Ben! Don't let me ask you again before I knock the living crap out of you on this friggin' beautiful Christmas morning! Jim. Come dude, chill out. I'm just trying to leave my toys, man. Chill out. Oh, man. <laughs> no. It's kind of like family tradition. I mean, what would Christmas morning be without Dad losing his shit, flipping out, and yelling at Ben? Christmas is different now, though. I guess it kind of changes as you get older. Loses that magic or something. I still really love it, but it's nothing like when you're a little kid. Boy, you ready? To you finish your milk? I'm nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about. Ma, stop put that down. Okay, get your get your bag. Here's this bag. I packed it myself. There's nothing to be nervous about. This is just another thing, right? Remember the first time you went in the pool at Aunt Diane's? You were scared, right? But Ben kept saying, come on, Mo, you're gonna love it. And what happened? You went in, you tried it, and you didn't come out for five hours. It was hard for you, but you did it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you got your chocolate milk. I made your tuna, cut off all the crust. I need you right over there at the end of the day. Amy? Oh, hi. How are you? Oh, my God. Oh, my. You look so adorable. Have you taken Raoul's new funky fitness class? It is to die oh, for. No, I, I haven't been uh, exercising. Really? Oh, you know, I've heard good things about Lucy. My friend's second son, Jeffrey, you know Jackie came in, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she says she can be very nice. I can also be a real bitch when it comes to letting the kids out for Passover and Yom Kippur. Really? That's not good. Well, no. Anyway, we should, uh, you know, get together. Go have Mishes. A little low-fat blue. Delish. I, I have to take care of this. Uh, I'll speak to you later, Wendy. I'll call you. Well, hello there. And what's your name? This is Matthew. Hi, I'm Pam. Well, Matthew, I'm very excited to have you joining us. Why don't you come over here, and I'll introduce you to some of the other students. So, everyone, this is Matthew Liederman.
It's not your time, man. Let go, Tommy. I just don't have that fire burning inside anymore, man. I don't want it anymore. You don't need this, compadre. Let's just pack up your gear and do like we always said we were gonna do. I, I just, I just can't tell her I, I don't want it anymore. Don't you worry, amigo. I'll just tell Leslie that you're... Are you kidding me? I told you ten times. It's not Leslie, it's Lily. Look at the script, man. Come on. All right? I mean, it's got to match. I got to go from the close-up to the master. Let's do it over again, then. Sorry. Yeah, of course. And you know what you're doing with that thing? Yes. They I... said put it in half. I can hardly breathe. Let's go, Matt. You have to finish your homework. I, can, I cannot work under these conditions, man. It's so unprofessional, dude. Job in. What up? Did you take your fiber pill? Have you gone to the bathroom yet today? Yeah, yeah. Don't ma yeah me. What happened the last time you went a day without taking it? Shut the fridge door. Don't just stand there with it open. Matt, you've had that cough for the past three weeks. I think the medical term is bronchitis for dumb days. We gotta go see Dr. Meyer and get it checked out. So what's for dinner? Turkey loaf. Again? Ma, what's for dinner? Turkey loaf. Again? Hey, hey, don't jam it in. Last time you broke a glass and picking up shards for weeks. Sorry. That was Matt, though. Are you kidding me? Dude. Such I'm tormenting him. What? Leave what? him alone. You wonder what Willie is? He's a wet Herman. Then get out of here. Will you get out of get here? Off, Go upstairs. Do whatever it is you do. Get. Nasty, dude. Were you busy today? Shelly's driving me up a wall. She's in there with every friggin' little thing, like pushing a pee around on a plate. And I don't know how long this guy Todd's gonna last. The guy's a complete maniac. I wouldn't be surprised if he brings an assault rifle into work. I was saying to Ron, when I said, you know, there's a 50-50 chance he'd probably spare me, but you, no, you're gone. Lovely. You want this on Thursday night, like a sandwich? No. I think that indentation in his chest is getting worse. Why? I got an appointment for him at the Center for Joint Diseases. He's getting bigger. He's growing. Just looks deeper to me. I want to make sure it's not interfering with any of his organs. We'll call him. We'll, we'll have it looked at. I'll go with you. Just make sure it's before the 18th, all right? I think I'm leaving the 20th. All his friends, the other boys are so much bigger and stronger. Well, whatever he needs, well, you know, we'll, we'll get it done, right? I mean, he's, he's okay. He's happy, right? Yeah. Who knows what goes on inside his head? It's hard. It's got to be hard. All right, Johnny, I want you to shoot across the middle like a slant. You'll be my safety receiver. Brett, I want you to quick curl him okay. He can't cover you. Matty, I want you to run a fly, ripping down the sideline, right past Scalius, badass. That kid's huge. That type of shit couldn't run to save his mother. Are you scared, Lederman? All right, hey, hey, come on. Yo, you can pick this guy? Come on, do it. All right, we need this touchdown. We break on three. One, two, three, break! Got this. All right. Take it. A little juke style. Shake and bake. That was pathetic. Right there. That's Do right. it, baby. You gotta be kidding me. Let him in sucks. At least give me someone that can run, Angelo. 
Shut up, you fat side of beef. Ready? Set? Right? You really do suck. <laughs> All right, that's it. Let's head back inside. And nobody leaves before the damn bell. Hey, hey, you right? That kid just totally squashed you. So how do you think I did? Well, maybe, maybe your sport could be something like, uh, you know, fencing or archery, okay? <laughs> Golf. That's not bad. Come on. Okay. All right. Come on, guys, let's hustle. The indentation in his chest is called a pectus excavator. It is a congenital disorder. Meaning that is a defect that is present at and before birth. I don't think it is interfering with the vital organs, heart, lungs, etc. However, I would like you to go see a cardiologist and pulmonary specialist. In Matthew's situation, with his ligament laxity and low body weight, we will need to do some tests. 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 Matthew, has anybody ever mentioned Marfan syndrome to you? Uh, no. Well, Pam, as you know, I am a cardiologist, but I'm also a Marfan specialist. And Marfan syndrome is a disorder of the connective tissue that can cause skeletal uh, defects, generally noticeable in a tall and lanky person. Right. A person with uh, Marfan syndrome may exhibit the following. They may have long limbs, uh, spider-like fingers, chest afflictions, and curvature of the spine. Matthew, you could put your clothes on now. The most significant defects of this syndrome are the cardiovascular abnormalities, which can result in an enlargening or a dilation of the base of the aorta. Generally speaking, this syndrome is genetic in nature, and I'm wondering if there's anyone in your family that has ever displayed any of these characteristics? Uh, no. My mother's side of the family, the Dolans, were tall, but... Well, Matthew, I really do feel that you qualify for this, but I don't want you to worry. People who have this syndrome can live very long and normal lives. We just have to keep you monitored, that's all. What can we do? Well, I would like to perform some more tests. Like what? Uh, what kind of tests? Just uh, monitoring of the, uh, the heart, that's all. There's a wonderful doctor here at this facility, a Dr. Arad, and I'm sure you'll like him. And he and I will work together in monitoring Matthew. And luckily, Matthew, your eyesight is not affected. You have perfect vision, and that is wonderful. It's just your heart that we need to monitor, because we want to keep you good and strong and, and healthy, okay? Thank you. Come, let's go. Okay. Don't worry, all right? Everything is fine. Just another thing, we'll take care of it. These guys are my best friends. That's Brett. He's crazy smart, gets really good grades, and he's a pretty good athlete, too. I think that Keanu Reeves has the sweetest hair. Oh, shut up, Brett. <laughs> Sean. He's kind of out there. You wish you he doesn't really say much. Keanu. Usually just doesn't really have that much yeah, to dude, say. Yeah, your hair kind of looks like my mom's dirty brittle pads. Yeah, well, she keeps under the sink. Oh. <laughs> 
I wouldn't be talking. At least I don't have an ongoing relationship with my mother's vacuum cleaner. This is Meryl. He's always got something to say about everybody and everything. He's kind of crazy, but definitely does keep us entertained. Yeah, do you have anything harder up in this bitch? How about some Carvassier? How about you slow yeah. down there, Tupac? Hmm? Stick with the Sprite? <laughs> Did you guys hear that Carol Pignani and Ira Goldman are doing it? <laughs> What's up with that girl's outfits, man? She's nasty. It's like, listen, where are you going? Seriously. <laughs> right? she yeah, she dresses like she's a 30-year-old crack whore. <laughs> <laughs> I heard they like smoke dope too. Yeah? Where does she get it? Where do they get it? Mm -hmm. Calm down. Anybody home? <laughs> hey, do you wanna spend the night at my place tonight? I mean, the four of us. I call first game. Duh! No way! Mo. Skeet toe. Oh, that was, that was freaking good. That was awesome. You didn't call it. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I totally did. I called it. All right, how about this? We'll play first, and you can play with his mother vacuum while you're waiting. <laughs> oh, no, that's good, that's good. I'm sure it can do the job, man. It's one of those high-powered ones. You know, actually, the neighbors, they borrowed it when they had the flood in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, let it go, let yeah. it go, come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, look at this. Look at what I got. Whoa. My Friday night consists of watching the same monotonous, obnoxious crap. You could have went to Don Pep's with the Pescadinos, but you wanted to stay home tonight. Oh, yeah. Going out with them is a far departure from sitting here on the couch being tortured by a rerun of a rerun of a rerun. So that's boring. You know, I would rather have my left eye gouged out with a rusty spoon than sitting there listening to Nick talk about Nicky. Nick. Nikki, whatever the fuck his name is. Nikki. Nikki, talking to me about the his boat in Miami and this insurance deal I just got to get in on and, you know, how his uh, hemorrhoids act up. He's too much garlic and, oh, hey, you should see my son. He's bench pressing 350 pounds. The kid's a freaking animal. Right. <laughs> um, you guys think I could stay at Brett's tonight? Is this my home? Yeah, she can pick us up a bit. Oh, we'll see. I got a call from Mr. Warwick today. A little daydreaming. Uh, don't stay up all night. And don't sleep on the floor either. And wear your socks and a sweatshirt. Call me in the morning. Mokito! Mokito! Put the jerky away now, that's enough. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Then the boys will blame me because they'll think I didn't tell you to stop eating. Thought we were on a diet. So, <laughs> you see, with Matthew's situation, we will have to keep a very close eye on him. <laughs> Especially in regards to these particular abnormalities, like the slight arrhythmia, the mitral valve, the aorta. Now, this doesn't mean that he will need to grace us with his lovely presence every week, or every other week for that matter. Matthew, you have lovely eyes. But we will have to closely monitor the aorta to make sure it is not progressively dilating. I would say every four to five months. Uh, they had this snowboarding trip planned with his friends. He was going to try the bunny hill. Hmm. Matthew, would you mind stepping outside for a moment so I could speak to your mom alone? It'll just be a second. Why don't you run across the hall and get some of those scrumptious cookies from Berta, okay? Pam, I really think that uh, we need to put limitations on Matthew's physical activities. Like what do you mean? Well, I really feel that a snowboarding trip is definitely out of the question right now. You must understand an aortic dissection could be fatal. A bad fall or a bang or a smack could be harmful. Keep it limited to low-impact activities. I mean, we already know that. I do want him to go on a snowboarding thing anyway. That made me nervous. All his friends are going, all the girls. He, he wants to be involved in things like that. We'll take him on a trip. He could bring along one of his buddies. We'll go to Mexico, Puerto Rico. Or... She's putting him on beta blockers to control the arrhythmia. How do those work? Wait, your mom was on those. No, it was blood thinners, but... Roman Koff said something to the effect that the beta blockers um, 
uh, slow the nerve impulses that travel through the heart. I guess as a result, the heart doesn't have to work as hard because it needs less blood and oxygen. Also, the beta blockers can block the impulses that actually cause an arrhythmia. We're going to have to keep an eye on this thing. Go back in a couple of months, see what happens. Could be all right. Could be fine. Hey. All right, so move to your left. Good, now I want you to gaze down to your left. Start right. I said gaze, don't just look. What's the difference? Come on, man. I need you, you're, you're contemplating the love of your dear Bella. Okay, now grab the rake. Good. Now start to right. No, 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 no. No more like a deep hypnotic retrospective manner. Yeah, that's it. No, dude, stop. You're ruining the shot. Come on. Now you're writing. You're writing. That's it. Now you feel an overwhelming sadness come over you. All right, that's it. Keep writing. Yeah, live, live in that for a couple of seconds. Just live, feel that. Live in that? Who are you? This will be the mill. A Herkimer Avenue, huh? Dad, get out of here. You're ruining the shot. Come on, stop. All right, now you feel. Now call to your horse Akiba. Call to your, call to your horse Akiba. On my mark. <laughs> Come on, you stop. You're ruining it. Cut. I told you, that's not what I need. I need a pre. I need, I need excellence. Okay? What I need is a black and white. No sound. Okay? Pre. World War I. Neo-noir. Western. Okay? It's a character study, man. I look totally ridiculous. No, you don't. You look tough. No, you know I look saying? like a complete Luke. No, you don't. You know what? I definitely should have done a, uh, a reenactment of Stroh Dogs. You would have been a much better young Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, right. I'm a spitting image. Seriously, though, why don't you ever just use kids from your school to act in these things? Why? Because they're, cause they're film students. They, they, they stink at acting. I mean, I have confidence in you. I always know what I'm getting with you. Can you come back tomorrow so we can finish this? All right. Are you all right? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. You sure? Are you like in high school? I mean, I don't really remember ninth and tenth grade too much, but I know that you know it gets better your junior and senior year. I mean, nobody's bothering you or anything like that. No, no one's bothering me. No, I'll go down and crack some skulls. Some girl or something? Nope. No cuties. Did you really are mental? No, no cuties. I mean, I usually what I do is I mean, you just, you just gotta be yourself. I mean, you just I just wanted to go on that snowboarding trip. What did I want you to go? So I mean, there'll be plenty on the trips, man. There'll be plenty on the things. I mean, you just gotta. I mean, I know you have a great group of friends. They're important to you, you just... Mom says I'm not strong enough, and then I could get hurt. So you just do things, you just find a way to do things. Do things the best you can, like you always have. Do things your own way. I want everybody hitting hard out there. Right, Temporary? Yeah. Marty, you can get your plays and Schwartz. Yeah. Mo, we need you to catch everything today, baby. All right? All right, everybody hands in. Break on three. One, two, three. Break! Ah! Ah!
Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless each of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Any chance I can get 10 bucks? For what? I told you, best picking me up in the parking lot. What do you mean he's picking you up? In what? Definitely don't listen when I talk. This brother Barry drives. He's a senior. I don't like you driving in cars with these older kids. She's my brother. She's gonna go to Jillian's, grab some snacks, get to play games. Mm -hmm. I want you home before five o'clock. We're going to Janice for Chinese tonight. All right. Is this kid Barry a responsible kid? Is he a nice boy? He's like going to a great college somewhere in Maryland. Oh, really? He's a good guy. Maryland. Before five o'clock. Okay. What up, douchebag? Hey, yes. Ah, so what? You getting some religious enlightenment there or what, kid? <laughs> um, isn't your last name Letterman? Definitely sounds Jewish. Yeah, it does sound Jewish. Yeah, well, I guess it would, you know, considering his dad is. It's what? You know, it's really scary how burned out you guys are. Um, wasn't he actually in there with his mother, yo? What the? What the? Jeez! Maybe if you turn the music down for two seconds, you'll be able to hear something, Jam Master Flash. I really need to tell Dad how much of a fucking burnout you've become. Yeah, tell me about it. Keep talking, Christmas. You better check yourself. No, it's not that complicated. My mother's Irish Italian, my dad's like Polish. Russian Danish combo. He's Jewish, my mother's Catholic, and my brother and I were raised Catholic. That's it. How's that work out? Shut up, Barry. Like, doesn't his parents have like a problem with that? I think my parents would throw a shit bit. Shut up, Barry. Same. I never even really thought about it that much. I mean, we get to celebrate a lot of holidays. And uh, oh, we get to eat the best foods like my grandmother's tomato sauce. Mmm, mmm. Oh, man. Yo, your grandmother's tomato sauce is unbelievable, man. That recipe's been in the family for, like, ever, man. What's the word? Like, a lot of years. Generations. Yeah, generations. Like, four or five generations. We also get the other stuff, too. Like, my other grandmother. You know, my mom's dad. Yeah. No, no. Dad's mom. Dad's mom. Yeah. <laughs> she makes these killer potato pancakes with the applesauce to dip into. Oh, oh my God. That sounds so good. Mm. These things are dope. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. You know what I hate? It's that like Valsa fish crap. Stuff is so vile. My father eats it with that jelly it sits in. Makes me want to gag. <laughs> I love gefilte fish. Get a meatball, get a matzo ball. <laughs> yeah, you know who you are? Pizza big. Because you got your pizza and the bagel. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I, That's don't, good <laughs> I don't get it. I don't think she gets much. No, I don't think so. Who is it? Oh, it's just some girl. I grabbed a picture from a photography magazine, you know, just for a point of reference. The rest I'm just kind of making up as I go along. What are you up to? Nothing much. We're going out soon. Hitting the beach. You do me a favor, just you know, hold on the corner there. I can't keep the get to the edge. That's good. Thank you. Great, thank you. Who are you going with? Probably just like Brett and Marrow and Sean. How come you and Ben can do this and I can't even draw a straight line? That's not true. You're very talented. Ben, you know, he just worked at it a lot. He was drawing all the time. And how do you do that? Hey, me. I was painting since I'm younger than you. I can never do that. Well, you just kind of, you know... 
Make things up as you go along. You find your voice, your style, whatever. When I was in the Army, I had to run around directing these trucks in like 120 degree heat. Mucho caliente. I didn't want to do that. So I kind of figured out that if I carried a hammer and a clipboard and hammered some things and then jotted some things down, people would think I was doing something of great importance. You know, so somebody come by, I'd hammer, hammer, you know, jot something down. Hammer, hammer, jot, jot. Hey, Sarge, how's it going? It worked for like four months. Just make things up as you go along. Just make things up as you go along, soldier! Just kind of making things up as you go along. What are you talking about? My father never had a bunch of tools or anything like that, you know? Everything he fixed, he used a butter knife. Amazing. He could have assembled a V6 engine solely with a butter knife. Grandpa Wade, Mom's dad, he was really handy, right? Yeah, he was, but he wasn't drinking. What do you mean? Could you do your old man a big favor here for just one quick minute? Would you wash that brush, please? Cold water and turp go with the grain of the bristle. Should I go into the kitchen? No, no, just use the hose back there. Just don't get any paint on the side of your mom will skin me alive. You grew up in the Bronx, right? Hey, hey, the Bronx. Oh, here we go. I know, I know. You and Uncle Stevie and Annalise all grew up in one room, right? Yeah. Smaller than this garage, even. And we didn't have AC like you princes got today. No. And it'd get crazy hot in there. But you had one of those old men or fans, right? Or whatever. They went back and forth making tons of noise. That's right. <laughs> you know, you hear them when they were coming? You pull your head off that sweaty pillow just for one shot by that sweltering breeze, man. Hey, one small window looked out onto what? Lush backyard? Hey, <laughs> hey. Brick wall. Brick wall. Thank you. I've heard enough. Thank you very much. Excuse me, your balls are showing. <laughs> Have you dream about the public education brainwashing machine made? Strap you down, put a plug in your head, make you memorize every word they say. Said you better listen up. It's gonna be on your test on Friday. Study good, cause it's gonna be hard. I'm awakened from the dream. You don't like the sun, do you? What? I said you don't like the sun, do you? Uh, I don't know, really. Rolling to the parking lot, singing the blues, about to enter the house. Do you don't like the water? Get out of my car. What's that? I said, um, do you like the water? It's all right. I'm not exactly the best swimmer. Me neither. Is your older brother's name John? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, he was a senior last year. He was a big dude, right? He played fullback in varsity? Yeah. He was awesome. Thanks. I don't know, they just, like, give him the ball and... Down 
Hey, um, did you have Miss Fishman? Yep. Miss Fish Dick's third yeah. period. <laughs> At her sixth. Worst, right? Oh, her no. Her breath smells like dead flounder. <laughs> Poppies and gum. More like a handful of Tic Tacs. Right? <laughs> Um, do you want to see something? Where? Down at the end of the beach. All right. Yeah? All right, come on. It's cool, right? Yeah, definitely. What is this thing? It's called a jetty. It's supposed to, like, stop the erosion on the beach or something. It's also supposed to, like, redirect the water current. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know about all that? Um, my mom used to know a lot about, uh, like, the environmental stuff. It's cool. What'd she do for a living? Um, she just passed away last year, actually. Sorry. Oh, wait. Here. Yes. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Mo. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, wait, let me take a picture. Perfect. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you want to head back? Yeah. Michelle's on the phone. You want to talk? Yeah. How you feeling? Any better? I don't know, not really. Well, what does it feel like? Ah. Hey. I don't know, I'm not feeling great. My dad says I have something called a migraine or something like that. No, I'm not going to go tonight. So tomorrow's your first time ever skiing, right? Have a good time. All right, thanks. Bye. Like, where is it bothering you? What do you mean, where? All over. It just feels like a pressing. Do you want me to take you to the doctor? I don't know. For what? A headache? No. Maybe you should eat something. Are you hungry? Would you like me to make you something to eat? No, I'm not hungry. Matt, you all right? How you feeling? Well, you look horrible. Well, what? It, it's your head, right? You got a headache. Let's just let him rest. Leave him alone. You're not going out tonight. Look, Matt, I'll tell you what you do. You take a hot, hot, hot shower. That's what I do. Make you feel 100% better. Let's just let him rest. Do you want me to put the sound back on? No, just leave it. He was lucky. It was a small blood vessel that broke, like a mini stroke. The whole thing with his, his sight is that the blood leaked to the part of his brain that controls his vision. Everything is blurry. No. Oh, right. They say once the blood dissipates, you'll be able to see. Right. Right. It's morphine, the weak connective tissue. That's what caused it. The doctors are concerned if there are any other vessels like the one that broke. He has to take an angiogram to see what's going on in there. Yeah. Well, it might make him feel good if a couple of his friends could come up to see him. Okay. I'll speak to you. Love you too. Bye. You're feeling better? Are you okay? See any better? I can't see Jack. I mean, I just heard the doctors talking. And they said, you know, you're going to be out of here in a couple of days, so. A couple of days. Great. I mean, so what happened? I, mean, I spoke to you, like, you know, yesterday. You were fine. I mean, 
I don't really know. I just remember going to the bathroom and take a shower. That's you. Maddie. Jim. I just have the music. Yeah, music. What do you want to listen to? What's that called? Dave. Dave. You can't remember Dave. What's my name? Ben. Ben. Malone, let him rest. His brain's just tired. You, you, you Just pick up the phone I'm never talking to you again. You're doing great. And now, 
Hailing out of Strong Island, New York, weighing a crushing 102 pounds, the king of sting, the flow of Mo, Matty Mugambo, let him in. <laughs> You're so tough. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. All right. I love it. I love it. All right. <laughs> Midnight, guys. Be careful. And that goes for you, Brian Marrow. Oh, yeah, there's macaroni in the fridge. Bye. All right. <laughs> well, what you, what you guys up to tonight? <laughs> oh, yeah, what? Like, uh, art gallery? No, I'm shooting gallery. <laughs> oh, uh, she's like a brilliant talent. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, she related to Robin Williams. I stick to the video games, little man. And remember, whatever you do, whatever you do, little gremlins. No eating after midnight. No drinking water. And never, 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 never any song. Whatever. What up? Nothing. I just woke up like an hour ago. Now? How long are your parents away for? Alright, can you pick me up in like half an hour? Okay, lit. You see, the town where I live in, Hewlett, it has two different areas. This is the area we don't live in. Go crazy, get crunk. Everybody get down with the funk. Let me break you off a chunk. Something of your groovy. Yeah, go crazy, go wild. Everybody act like a child. If you're house party in the harbor, gotta love it. Uh, this is it, right? No, do you think? Maybe we should go up there and check. Ass? Relax, guys. Who crawled up his ass? I don't know. I mean, I think he's just a little on edge. You know, I mean, you heard about that thing with those, you know, Lawrence guys a few weeks ago? Mm, oh, the kid getting him the BB gun? Yeah, but there's another side to that story. Yeah, Mara probably ripped him off. I mean, he's out of his mind. Why would he even be dealing with a guy like Bam Bam Machan? Bam Bam Machan? The guy who won the floor forward? No, no, no. You see, that's his brother. That's JJ. What's up, mate? Yeah, how big that kid is? He's a fucking monster. Problems always wind up. Going. There's something in here. Go on it. Acceptable. There's paraphernalia. Wait a second, Charles. Wait, wait. Ladies, ladies are this way. Oh, ladies, ladies, baby, bong hit, oh yeah. Oh, oh my god. Hi. I totally did not think you were going to be here. Deborah Silverman said you were coming. 
<laughs> anyway, I totally want to meet my new cam friend. Okay. Chad, um, he's over there. Oh my god, I'm so psyched they're here. And Chad is so <laughs> hot. Okay, he's like a cross between like Heath Ledger and Steve McQueen, but with Brad Pitt's ass. Wow. That's, that's okay, nice. Fun. Oh man. Isn't that Tony Cunningham? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's when you seen you last year. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> the year before that, and the year before that, and actually the year before that. Oh uh, yeah, super duper quadruple scene. <laughs> the guy's a meathead. I mean, first of all, that girl is like 15, and you know he's like 25. He's a pedophile. You guys gotta check this out. What's up? Come here. Follow this way. Over here. Looks like Junior says on the shows. Oh, wait, he's asking for us. I mean, he doesn't know where we were. Well, he didn't care about that before, and I did it. These are my fine feathered friends. It's chocolate, pineapple, Hawaiian hydro bunk. What the hell is that? Herb. Where did you get that from? Jerry Garcia and his massive six foot bong? Wow. Fall off of Joseph Diaz. You are no good. Are you kidding me? Man, that probably has crack in it. You're gonna be nuts if you think I'm gonna go anywhere near that shit. Joey Diaz is like the sketchiest kid in school. Does he even go to school? He's a complete scumbag. Man, I'm not touching that shit. All right, all right, all right, all right. More for me. Ain't nobody leaving oh this God, bitch, yo. It's so cool. I see a Mr. Oh, no. Ryan Morrow standing right up here in front of my grill. L.L. Kramer. Where you going, man? Hey, what in the world were you smoking today? Puff, puff, give, man. That's the dutchy pun on the left-hand side. Yo. Hey, 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 Shorty. Yeah, you, Bradbury. Oh my God, we're getting out of here Get now. Get your miracle mile ass back up in that house. Hey, yo. Hey, Reverend Shanana. Yo, Jake, there he is. Hey, what's up? I know I owe you guys some money. It's right here. Hold on. Oh, I owe your mom some money, too. It's in this pocket. Oh, Papa, screw you. Yes, my parents are at home. Are you from St. Martin or something? What's the difference? Where'd everyone go? You feel that? It just got all like quiet. Dude, this, this stuff sucks. I don't feel a thing. Maybe because it smells like my mom's cleaning products. Are we just gonna sit around here all day or can we like do something? You just got totally ripped off, man. Why? What are you talking about? What? Man, you've been sitting here smoking Pope Ray for the last 15 minutes. Bye, Oh, we got the upstairs. Let's Guys. go. Party's over. Hey, where are you going? What's your hurry? Get back here. Let's go. Get back here. Oh. What do you got here? What are you guys smoking? Come on, you know better than this. Get out of here. Let's go. Everybody go home. I want this property cleared right now. Let's go. Come on, go home. Just get the fuck out. Give me the bottle. You know better than that. Give me the bottle. Let's go. Everybody out. Come on. Move. Okay, what about Mara? We'll find his own way home. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Sorry about that. Are you kidding me? Come on. You should have seen the fucking look on your face. Nuts. <laughs> I almost had a freaking heart attack. Did you see Mo? Mo, I've never seen your mug like that before, man. Guys, I shit myself. What? I shit my pants. Yeah, yo, I know. I did too. They came out of nowhere. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm serious. I shit in my pants. You're, you're serious? <laughs> Whoa, that's, that's so nasty. 
Oh my That's God. the grossest thing I've ever heard. But listen, do you, do you want to go home? Because, I mean, we were going to go to Poncho's. What do you think? You're going to go. <laughs> this needs to be done, Matthew. If this goes untreated and you have an aortic dissection, it'll be fatal. Should we maybe wait a bit longer to see if... Absolutely not. We have been monitoring this for the last year. The aorta has dilated enough that we need to take preventative measures. I would want to schedule the surgery for this summer. Now, if you want to get a second opinion, please be my guest. A hundred percent. Any other party will concur with this decision. Yeah. I knew this was coming. You're fine, Matt. This will be it and you'll be done. Can I talk to her alone for a minute? Of course. I'll be just right outside. Do you think, like, smoking pot sometimes? I mean, could that be what caused this? <sighs> Look, Matthew, I do not condone the consumption of marijuana. However, I do have a teenage daughter, and I was once a teenager myself, if you can believe that. So no, this could not have caused or contributed to this. This is a syndrome that affects all of your connective tissue throughout your whole body. Am I gonna die? Matthew. This is a routine surgery to repair your heart. You are not going to die. I'm alone to the parking lot, singing the blues, about to enter the house where insanity rules. I oh, Michelle's I great. Pocket, we just kind of really get each other. Just totally different from all the other girls I know at school. Oh, here we go. I guess I've kind of had this crush on her since the first time we met, but I don't know. We're just friends for now. So when do you have to go in? I think they mentioned like the 13th. Of July? August. That's soon. Are you scared? Yeah. You know that, um wooden crucifix above your bed. Do you, um, do you, do you, like, believe in all that stuff? Yeah. I mean, there's so much to believe in. Hey, did I tell you I'm going to Florida? Oh, no. Really? With who? Ben and Madeline are taking me, Sean and Brett. Gosh. Seriously? Oh, that's so cool. When? In like two and a half or three weeks. That's so cool. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm psyched. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have a great time. Huh? Thank you. you. Like? Nice. <laughs> a masterpiece. <laughs> oh, please. Let me say that. Liederman. It says here this is the second time you've taken this driving test. Yeah. Yeah. It says your parallel parking isn't quite up to standard. I hope you've been practicing. 
Okay, start the car, please. Good. I want you to go up to that first stop sign and make a left. We will start with your three-point turn. Put your hands at 10 and 2 at all times, please. All right, time's up. Hands down, everyone. Do not worry if uh, you weren't able to put a proper ending on. As long as you've given me a rich, enlightening, in-depth tale, that will do. Mr. Letterman, it's been my pleasure having you in class. Look forward to reading your story. Descriptive storytelling, people. That's what will garner you an A. Good luck on the rest of your finals. Yo, what up? Anything? What took you so long? It's a long test. Test. I got it. Are you kidding me? Nope. I got it right here. Now it cost me a little extra and you owe me 15 bones. Did you pay Bam Bam back? Yeah. I kinda had to. Somebody told him where I live. I'll take it out here. That looks really real. It is real. Point oh, that at me. This is yours. I got you two boxes. We can get more later or whatever. It's fat, right? I'm out. Peace. Later. Later. It definitely, it definitely looks and feels real. Why would you have something like that? Just to play around. Well, I mean, you know it's not real. I know it's not real. Even if all your nitwit friends know it's not real. Whenever some cop comes up on you guys, does he know it's not real? That's how accidents happen. Kids get killed. You guys are idiots. Let me see this thing. Let me see this. I can't believe he did that to you. Why would he do something like that? He's kind of an ass. And he has one. Yeah, we got them together. Look, they're not slinging rock here on the South Shore, you know, of, of Long Island. Okay, I mean, is that what you guys want to be? You little gangsters? Huh? I mean, too bad for Brett. They're not going to have too many thugs up in Binghamton, so he's just going to have to, he's going to have to adjust. Just, I don't want to, I don't want to see it. Get rid of it or I'm going to tell Mom and Dad. You hear me? Yeah, whatever. All right, go. You know what? And tell Marrow if I see him around here, I'm going to get Dad to shove his head up his ass. Go, get out of here. I think I did all right. Yesterday, Ben was mentioning something about School of Visual Arts. I'm not really a visual artist, though. True, but he says SBA has a, a lot of courses in creative writing, and they have a whole program on screenwriting. That could be cool. Uh, we'll do the prom graduation, your surgery recovered, then deal with everything else after the stem one, one step at a time, right? Right. What band is this? King Sweet, they're not really a band. They're just like a group. He's a rapper. Doesn't leave much to the imagination. What happened to Dave? I love Dave. That's more chill time music. This is like afternoon jam. Oh, I see. I just really like black people. You really like black people. Yeah. Just the style, music, everything. 
Do you actually know one single black person? Yeah, there's this one kid in our grade. I say hello to him all the time. I think he was in my art class. Oh, I see. Did Michelle get a dress yet? I don't know. I think. What color is it? Well, I don't know. Well, you know we got to get your tux. We'll go tomorrow because I got the box. <laughs> Seriously, Ma, that's, that's pretty lame. Don't ever do that again. I chill. Your mama is <laughs> curious. This is my homage, stop, to <laughs> Sid Vicious and Elvis. Is this right? No, here, let me up. I remember my prom like it was yesterday. I don't know, I had a good time, I enjoyed it. I like I look like a penguin in this thing. You look good, man. Seriously, I have no ass, it's like. <laughs> Might as well put socks in my back pockets. Dude, you're a super stud, you look great, all right? What time are they supposed to pick you up? What time is she going to be here? I don't know where she is. We're supposed to be at the house now. Mom, can you see the car? Yo, check it out. We got small town kids with big city dreams. Yeah. Big city kids, closed in between buildings. Secluded areas never seen. Let the wind take a little fall with the leaves. Small town kids with big city dreams. Big city kids, closed in between buildings. We want to uh, wish everybody congratulations on your graduation. We want to uh, wish you a good time tonight and good luck in the future. Have a great time. Be happy. Be safe. What's the deal? I've heard about that. I knew I saw something. Alright, listen, I actually yeah. talked to this girl and she had back problems. I'm not kidding. Like, she couldn't oh, you stand get, up straight. Yo, yo, did you guys hear about, about uh, Louis Dubis? You hear about Louis Dubis? He's selling his brother's big model aircraft carrier. You know what I'm talking we about? Buy, we should buy it and blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that no matter what, we will all meet here at this diner, at this very table, at least one time a year. Like a pack. <laughs> We're making a pack that. No matter what, we'll always meet here at this diner, at this table, and have this same plate of nasty, <laughs> greasy fries and gravy at least one time a year, no matter what. Yeah, yeah forever. Forever. No matter where we are, who we're with, what we're doing. Period. Period. You could always make it on this day. Oh. It's disgusting, I'm sorry. So have you guys been thinking, like, what you want to do long-term? After college and everything, you know? Definitely, man. Right now it's, uh, it's a toss between playing left field for the Yankees or working for Jay-Z. <laughs> and what about you, genius? I mean, I don't know. You know, cars. Like, I, like, I like cars. You think Valley Vans pays good? What about you, big shot? Um, well, you know, I'm going to study business and finance, and um, 
Actually, Binghamton has this really excellent communications program, so I was thinking, you know, I'll leave the, leave the options open and uh, see what happens. <laughs> what about you, Mo? I just want to get this whole thing over with this summer. And then probably NASA in the fall until I figure out what I want to do. I'm sorry. Do you guys want to get going? I just... I have work early tomorrow morning and, uh... Think your dad could give me a job? You gonna show up? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. That is so gorgeous, Ben. That is really mm -hmm. elegant. Actually, um, I wanted to ask you. To, you're gonna be my best man, right? Yeah. Of course. Yay! Oh, I'm excited. You know, you guys should get married in Greece. That'd be cool. You think people would go? That's the whole point. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's like I'm a year away. Either way. Whatever. Show it to him. Give it to him. Wait until we clear the table. Just... No, no, give it to him. What? All right. All right. All right. What's this? Just don't get it dirty. <laughs> You drew this, right? Let me see it. Let me see it. Got crazy skills. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. Looks just like him. It's really good. Looks Read just it. like you. Read it. Read it. Read it. Let's read it. 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 A new adventure begins. The magnificent, magnanimous, nice. mighty Mo acquires his latest <laughs> superhero secret weapon, a Herculean heart. The forces of nature should run and take cover. Mighty Mo has become the indestructible, unstoppable Mighty Mo Maximus. Stronger, more energized, and way cooler than any superhero that ever existed. That's totally awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's so talented, Madeline. Take it up to Hillary's to show him. I don't want to get it ruined. Just take care of it. Give it to me. I'll hold it for you. Where are you guys leaving? Tomorrow morning, early. Oh, really? Early. We want to have the whole day. So what are you guys going to do in Jersey? Better say hello to everybody for us. Thanks for the drawing. <laughs> hey, no problem, bro. Can you believe that? It's so weird. You're like my brother now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the family. <laughs> Is there any dessert? I thought there was any dessert. I had 
had a piece of cake last night. I had a piece of cake that was kind of cake, but... Aside for Maddie. Oh, oh where is Maddie? Uh, let me have Maddie's plate. Okay. Okay. Dylan, what's up with you? Why are you always late? Why are you always late? Yeah. It's that girlfriend of his. Keeps him up too late. Uh, uh, <laughs> what time did you get in? Told you. <laughs> Just wait, wait, just wait, just wait, just wait.
Sometime soon, man, for sure. Yeah, for sure. And I wonder, will I see you again? And if I do, man, will we still be friends? And will we hang out? So never come in day. And will these be the last words I say to you? And tell me if that's true. Thanks for the good times. Thanks for the good times. Thanks for the good times. 